Hi guys, Adam the OT back again with some more simple, fun, and effective therapy games for parents or professionals in the home, the clinic, or the classroom. Today's activity is a super one for strengthening those little hands. Uh, before we get to it, if you like these videos and want to stay updated, don't forget to click subscribe. So today's activity is gripper games. If you don't have any grippers, I have loads of these in clinic and use them for years. I'll teach you how to make one yourself at home for something I guarantee everyone has in their home. Okay, great for strengthening these little hands. So let's see Adam's gripper games. So for the gripper games, these guys are super because they provide even pressure. The child has to hold that strength in their hand. So you get a lot of this time under tension with the muscles. You have to, if you see what I did, pick up a little piece of tissue or paper or marble or anything at all. They squeeze to pick it up and place it somewhere else, okay? Couldn't be easier. These are a great thing to have. You get them in lots of variable resistant. This is a five kilo one. I have 10, 15, 25, and down to two, so I have lots of them. So it can be used from four years old to like 18 years old, but not everyone has these. And I like my activities to be accessible to everybody. So what's one thing absolutely everyone has at home we could use for strengthening up those little hands? This is going to be your gripper, okay? Uh, toilet paper, uh, toilet tissue. So you're gonna use this part, the hole in the middle, and not only that, we can make a variable resistance gripper out of it. Sometimes for younger kids, say if I take something like, something it could be a tissue, like a ball, could be a toy car, could be a marble. Just watch the marbles run the small ones, especially if they like to put things in their mouths. Just holding the tissue paper like this, over the top, whoop, over the top, pick it up. Now they have to hold that tension. If they relax, the marble will fall down. Over the top, squeeze, lift it up, and drop. Something softer, like a little ball of tissue paper itself, that's much easier because there's more friction. With the marble, if you let go at all, it'll fall out. Easy peasy, but we want to do a little bit more than that, okay? So to make a variable resistance gripper, okay, what we're going to do is take another thing everyone will have at home, a sock. I've got my favorite pickle rick socks here, and you're going to put the sock over the top of this tissue, like so, right down, but don't cover the hole at the bottom, all right? So I still have my hole at the bottom, you can use, I use these for all sorts of little silly games and stuff. You can use them for throwing, they're silly. Um, but to make a variable resistance then, this bit at the top, push that down into the tissue. The more you stuff in there, the harder it's gonna to be to squeeze clothes. You can even take the other sock you're not using and stuff it in there as well. So now you have quite a lot of resistance to close it. Now if I take out, Say my marble, Put this back so you can see a little bit more. It takes quite a big squeeze and hold that pressure and then drop it down. And the last thing I would do to make this a, kind of a, a fun little challenge game for the older kids, I do a game called Flip and Grip. I'll have a receptacle, I'll have maybe like three items one, two, three. They're going to roll around the table, but I don't mind. And what the young person has to do is Flip the tissue, and every time it lands, pick it up, pick it up, one of the guys, and drop it in. Then they have to flip it again. Oh, they have to get it to land. There we go, again. So it's a little race against time. Flip, got it. And that's flip and grip, okay? So it's just toilet tissue, sock over the top. If that's enough pressure, fine, otherwise, Stuff the rest of the sock inside, still not enough pressure. Stuff another sock inside, and it's a fun little pickle rag. A fun little um, homemade hand strengthening fellow that absolutely everyone can make themselves, okay? That's it, guys. That is the homemade gripper, and that last game is called Grip and Flip. And that's all from me and Pickle Rick. Remember, if you do like these videos and want to stay updated, just click subscribe. Any questions, I love getting your questions. So please do let me know in the comments and I will get back to each and every one, okay? But for this week, build those strong little hands for scissors and handwriting and all those great little jobs. 
That's us, Adam UT.